Hi guys, this is Chris Appleton of Absolver, and you're listening to Angel Garrett of PRFM. say this right now it is the right mic there i have got the lovely sarah from seventh circle good afternoon good afternoon um, yeah. sir how are you not too bad good night for you tonight fantastic night we're at the evi yeah um, it's our first time there so we're really looking forward to it so it's going to be a good stage in there if you've not been in there not been in there we've told it's really great acoustics we're told the sound is really good so very nice looking forward to that and of course it's an all-girl night tonight really isn't it, is, it? because yeah. there's the kick um, yes. drink, drink yourself pretty. Drink yourself pretty. Yeah. Now, we know the kicks. We've, we've, um, we have played with the kicks before, and they're phenom- phenomenal. Really great, really tight bands. Um, we've not played with Drink Yourself Pretty yet, but we've heard good things about them, so we're really excited. You're looking forward to them? Really looking forward to them. Chris was saying, because Chris has just left here, and he was saying that they are a great bunch. Oh, so you're going to gonna have fun with them. But not only that is, last time we spoke, we had the single. Yes. Now there's news on the front here of an EP coming out? Yes, we've, we've been, it's been imminent for a while, but we've had all the band dramas of uh, people leaving and things like that, which always happens. Yeah, you've got a new bassist? No, well, we do have a new bassist, and he's awesome, he's very metal, Eddie our bassist, is, he's, he's from a metal background, he's done a lot, he's a uh, former bassist um, with Wizards of Oz, don't know whether you've ever heard of them, so, you know, really, real cool category. Um, but now we've lost our drummer, <laughs> so oh, no, every time we lose a member, it kind of knocks things back. But you know, we'll we'll be cool with it because you know all the, best, all the best bands lose members. You know what I mean? Well, so they've got to make money from somewhere, and where's the best place to make money from? A good band like yourselves. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. Well, you're going to be blasting out over in the EVI tonight, but that's not the only news you've got, is it? Um, having an EP coming out very soon. There's other news on the cards, I believe, as well. There is, yes. Um, and it's a bit of a scoop for you because it hasn't really been um, publicised a lot. But um, we will be supporting a former guitarist from Europe, Key Marcello. Um, he is doing a, a tour. Basically, because he is um, promoting his new album, which is Judas. I thought you were going to say you were skint. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> that might be the case. <laughs> he's uh, skint he's, and he's doing it all. He's got a new album called Judas Kiss, which he is promoting, and also Gibson are bringing out a signa- signature Key Marcello guitar, so he's promoting that as well. And you've so, been asked to play with him down in the globe. Down in the globe on which Thursday, the first of October. Has not been mentioned anywhere but then again you're saying it's October so there's plenty of it time for the October, globe to get yeah. that out I don't there, think no? tickets are on sale quite yet they um, won't be out until oof, roughly closer to the date I should sure, imagine for that one sure so um but we'll let everybody know we'll keep everybody posted so there's big news on huge course. news we're so excited it's gonna have be you awesome. seen Key play live I haven't, but m- our, our guitarist, Matthew, he's um, a good friend of Key's, and also he's done lots of stuff with him, so obviously he's seen him. But he's, it's like a god to Matthew. He really, really loves the guy. It's, it's one of his g- biggest and inspirations. Be, and to warm the crowd so, up. Before. Exactly, so <laughs> it's, a, it's a big thing for him. So that's going to be scary for him, then? Um, yeah, I think he's going to be a little bit nervous, but, you know, he, he kind of, he's like how he man, he takes everything in his stride, he's really laid back. So, so chilled out know, and relaxed. Chilled. Professional, that's what we like. Well, what about festivals now? Because we know, like, HRH, have they approached you or anything like that for...? Not yet. Um, the only festival we're actually doing this year at the moment is the NHSOB in Newport, which we did last year. It's great to be in Newport because it's our home crowd, so we love that festival. Um, you know, we're, we're friends with the organiser, and he, his band's playing there for street traffic, which is really cool. Um, they've made a bit, a bit of a loud, you know, noise recently. We've had them um, in the studio yeah, for street it's a good lineup there. I mean, they, they've they've got all professional acts, and it's going to be a really great day. It's it's a family day, so it's really nice it's to be have one. kids and mum and dad, and you know, it's it's a really lovely day. So you're you going to be taking your lot down with you then? We definitely are. They always come, and you know, it's always a really nice. It's, um, it's a nice vibe. You know, it's a really nice vibe. It's as there's the word gets out. I think it's going to be a, a bigger festival this year. It was quite a big festival last year, but this year. 
so it's going to be a really nice so you, you're playing that one which is going to be a good we're playing that one like i said we've um we've held off booking a lot of stuff because of the drummer situation I, I, yeah as you can say how can you hold off booking a load of stuff when if you go to seven <laughs> circles facebook page or their web page look at the dates that are on there yeah, held they off. <laughs> they were all booked last year we we run out of saturdays we literally booked all those saturdays last year so we didn't have any saturdays for this year at all and um, then we still had our drummer on board but um since we lost our drummer we kind of thought well you know, let's let's not overdo it on the booking side. Uh, we basically want to get somebody in who's awesome. You know, we don't want to just sell for second best. So you so, finally found someone. Um, we are in the process of trying out. So we're in the process of asking people to come along. So if you're a drummer and you're looking for a band, you can contact us. We have had a couple of people who have been really interesting, who we know are up to the job with some practice. We know they're up to the job. Um, but we just didn't want to rush into things. We've done that before. This time we wanted to make it right, especially with the fact that we're going to be releasing it's, the EP. I was going to say, it's going to be very hard, though, for you to find band members because constant dates and exactly. touring. It, it really so you is. need someone that's got to be dedicated. Do you know, we have an excellent depth. Um, John Lenn, he's, he's an amazing guy, he's, he's another laid back guy, he's brilliant on the drums um, so we've been really lucky so far but he can't commit fully to the band, which is fair enough so we are looking for somebody who wants to come in commit fully, do the covers but we are essentially going towards originals and that's where a lot of people we found um, you know, they don't want to actually put the time in for the originals. A lot of them just want to do covers on the weekend, which is absolutely fine. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's, you know, we do it, we love it. But... It's made you bread and butter at exactly. the moment. But you're trying to get into... Exactly. ...doing your own... Exactly. ...your own stuff. Because so. your voice, like I said, is amazing for Prayer for the Desolation. Oh, what a fantastic oh, little single. Thank you. I mean, I've pushed it and handed it round to other places for them to play it. And they're all being you like, really wow. Have. Thank you so much. You and know, it's, and yeah, it's, it's, it's... People have really loved that single. They've, you know, they've compared it to men many many great people pat benatar and and stuff like that and we 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 love that we we really appreciate all the support we've had we can't even fault the amount of support that we've got from south wales in in particular um you know we we feel that we want to progress just to give something back to those people because we want to do bigger venues we want to be able to say there's something exciting around the corner you know um because people have been so supportive they've bought the single they bought the t-shirt they've come to the gigs you know and they don't have to do that like i said last time there's so many bands out there that they could go and see but we've got such a great loyal following there's such a big following as well as well as not only in the uk but abroad yeah, we've got people in Scandinavia and Germany asking us to come and tour. We've got people in America, Poland, Hungary, you know, so all the places that you really, really want to go, we've got people coming and saying, yeah. listen, please come here, we want to we want to see you in action. So, so if they want to show their support for you, they can buy a t-shirt off they the webpage. They can buy a t-shirt off the webpage, they can download the single, they will be able to download the EP as soon as it's out, obviously, we've, um, as soon as we've got our drummer on board. That's on iTunes, Reverb Nation. Um, where is it on? It's on iTunes, well, you know, Amazon. All, all, the, all the usual things. Just put seven things. circle in music. Just put seven circle, circle pray for the desolate, they will find it. They'll find it there. But of course, your webpage is? Uh, www.sevencircle.co.uk. And Facebook as well for you guys. Facebook, yeah. We're, we're just under Seventh Circle Band. If they put that in, they should get us. And you see tour dates coming up left, right and centre. <laughs> left, right and centre. <laughs> Yeah, Thank you, John. Thank you for supporting us and being there for us. Never right the support for these guys. Like I said, it's the crowds you get as well because there's always news and stories. Um, you play Abergavenny a lot as well, don't you? We play Abergavenny. We play the baby in Abergavenny. That's it. That's our Abergavenny place to be. You know, we love it there. We we try not to um, do too many gigs in one area. We find that if you do too many gigs in one area, it splits people from the venues, and we want to support the venues. We can't. We can't say how grateful we are to the venues who support live music because, as you know, it's so difficult. It's so hard now. You know, places. for businesses nowadays, the margins are so small, and all of the venues that we play are fair. They they pay bands fair fair amounts of wages for their time and their input, and um, we want to support those venues. Um, so we think if we're playing too many venues in one area. 
then maybe that splits the crowd and it, it's not the best for the venue. It, it doesn't get the people in. So we're trying to dot ourselves about as much as possible. As as just so we can help those venues that actually are supporting live music. Dot yourself about as much as possible. Yes, you are, but it's <laughs> everywhere, uh, basically. But of course, tonight is the one you're in the EVI. EVI. It's going to be a good one. You, you're on stage so. at what, quarter past nine? I think it's quarter past nine because we've got two other fantastic bands on before us. Um, I think they're going to be doing an, a half an hour to a 45 minute set, something like that. So, they got pre so it's yeah. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a full night. I think tickets are six pounds, but really for three good local bands, I think yeah. that's, that's kind that's of pretty steal. good. That yeah. is. And plus, are you going to be slipping some of the new stuff in there? Um, hopefully we might. It all depends how the drummer is feeling. If he's feeling ambitious, we might yeah, stick we something. We might in. just put something new in there. But um, we yeah, might. We might. Put something <laughs> in. I can't promise that, but we can't might. promise that. But of course, then you say like October, you've got. That date in Cardiff the Globe, sure. which they can all check up if anyone's missed it. Ju just go check Seven Circles webpage and it'll yeah. be up on there because it's big news. 80s hair metal. Oh, I can't wait. It that, makes well, me that feel like putting spandex on. <laughs> spandex, come on. That, that is what is on, of course, Seven Circles Facebook page and good news, breaking news. We'll be playing with an 80s rock hair legend. <laughs> You're going to be shocked if he's bald, isn't he? Um, <laughs> well, I've seen pictures and he doesn't look bald. Actually, he looks like he's got he looks, like a good... He looks well for his age. He looks, be honest, he looks really, he looks really, really well. Good, yeah. I said he was up at a HIH last year um, at the AOR. Um, fantastic set as well. Fantastic show. Brilliant show. Um, oh, I've got to be honest. Sweet. Unbelievable guy. And for his age, musician-wise, brilliant. But then again, all the 80s are coming back. They are, and you know, there's a there's a new surge in, in British metal, and you know they're all harking back to the old stuff. So I, I, it's a really nice place to be at the moment in in the, the rock kind of genre because I think there's so many interesting things going on. And they're doing good packages as well. Because we were just talking about uh, the packages that are coming up, like last year, White Snake, Europe, yeah, and London. Yeah. This year, White Snake, Def Leppard. Well, uh, that's our writers as well. What a triple bill. Oh, just amazing. Just amazing. amazing. Now they're sort of bringing that back. It seems like now is you don't need to go to a big arena or a big festival to see these bands. No. And actually, I kind of think it's nicer to go to a smaller venue. It is more intimate. You do get a closer view of the people that you're going to be seeing. Um, and you can kind of think smaller venues. You'd look lost on a big nice stage. Um, I would like and feel that big stage. You'd look lost on a big stage. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> well, you know, we've had some big stages, but I actually like the little gigs. I, I like to be right in, in the crowd. Face, you know, the I crowd. like the crowd being on me. Do you know what I mean? Because it's, you know, you get to feel the energy. You know, sometimes when you are on those big stages, don't get me wrong, it's nice to have the space to walk around and and do your, do your thing, but. You do, I feel, miss a little bit of the connection with the audience. Especially when you've got that barrier stopping Absolutely. you getting close of course. to the crowd you know. yourself. All right, yes, you've got your photographers there doing their job, taking photos, but the crowd can't get... Exactly. And, no. and you know, I think it's live music, that's what it is. You're going to be one of these ones when you get on a big stage with a barrier. You're going to be one of these ones that just dive off the stage and get into the crowd Absolutely. like you I have seen do. Come on. That's Bit a nightmare for security. <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, you know, they got a job to do. You <laughs> they get nightmare. paid enough. They don't know what to do. <laughs> to be honest, they don't know what to do. They know to stop people getting over the barrier and trying to get on stage, but when the artists get off the stage and get into the I crowd, it's, it's a little like, bit frightening uh, for them. I mean, that's, I their, that's their main task, to keep everybody safe. It's great fun. You can't go wrong. Get him in, get him in. Of course, EVI tonight, 7 o'clock doors are opening, £6 a ticket for three amazing bands. Yeah. Who's on first? I think it is, I do think it is Drink Yourself Pretty, but I'm not sure. So there could, could be, be a little change around there. Uh, there wrong, there's three great brand bands yeah. there, like Drink Yourself Pretty, so. yeah, The Kick, and of course then Seventh Circle are there as well. But yeah. of course, you're not all female in the circle, I see. They're allowed to kick her and Drink Yourself Pretty. Yes, are. But are you going to get I the boys to dress up? Well, you know, they have actually asked about me doing their makeup, so, you know, we're halfway there. I, I was thinking a little bit of kiss would not go on this, so. For tonight's show. <laughs> For tonight's show. Maybe a, a little bit of Rocky Horror going on, that would be that interesting. That would be amazing, Ma isn't it? Matthew's got an expert, he's a personal trainer, really, so he's... <laughs> Stockings, so. so it's going to work out. Now, how hard is it for you guys all to get together though to practice? It's, it's really not hard to be honest. We we try to make time for practice because it's so important. I mean, uh, 
I think if you want quality, you've got to put the effort in, it. you know. And the harder we work, the luckier we get with gigs and things like that. So I just think it's, you've got to make time to practice. I know it's hard. Everybody has jobs, everybody has families. But at the end of the day, if you want to do it and you want to do it as professionally um, and you want to give everybody as much value for money as possible, you have to put on that yeah, show. Right. And you've got to be as tight as possible, and that's, that's what we're trying well, to you, do. You're saying that, see, I was going to say, it can't really be that hard for you guys to get together to rehearse, because you're always on the road, always playing somewhere. So well, what are you doing your practice? It helps. We, we do, we do um, virtually every week we're, we're gigging, so, you know, that's a practice. It's, practice in itself but when we are gigging we want to be the best we can be and you know that, that's where we've held off just getting anybody in to do drums because we want it to be special we don't just want it to be mediocre you know so um you know i just think it's important to get together as, as often as you can now a simple question i'm going to ask you i know it's on a lot of people's mind. How the hell do you remember all these lyrics? Well, when I first started, which wasn't that long ago, about two years ago, and, and Nick will tell you, because he does all the staging, um, I used to have them on a stand. And I used to try to make them look really inconspicuous. But as soon as lights went down, you couldn't see them. <laughs> so they're a little bit useless, but I think it was the comfort blanket of having those lyrics there. You knew they were there just you know, okay. Just so you knew. But I have had blanks and, and they've started playing the song and I'm thinking what is the next like what is the first line and I've actually asked the crowd I've been, you know I've, I've asked oh, people you, in the crowd cheap. what's the what's line what's the line you know and they all and really they're so cruel because they just stand there and go and I know they all know do you they, know they do mean? know the words but they just words, like they turn just you into that little bit of pressure nah, but it always better. you know it always comes right at the last minute it always seems to come so I've never really had um, a point where I'm struggling for the word right on the on the so opening of the song, but um, it is hard. It, you know, you've got to keep on, like you said, keep on going over it. They, they, it becomes second like nature on the journey. Slowly builds into the mind. Exactly. And gets in there. Now, what outfit are you wearing for tonight? Not to one woman. Um, it might be Wonder Woman. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll, that, that'll be That's a, a surprise. surprise for everyone. That's a big surprise. Of course, it's SevenCircle.com for anyone that's out there can buy t-shirts. Uh, I get yeah, this t-shirt. Well, there's all different sizes of t-shirts. I think we have a net of the 2XL and the 3XL. But um, as long as not 2XL. It's so big the most people are around here, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> They've gone to all sorts of places. They've gone, you know, to Colombia and to Finland and, you know, our, our, our Viking friend Vigo, I'll mention him because he's a big supporter of the band. Um, so, you know, they've been all over the place, but um, we are running out of sizes, so if you want to get in quick... It's now time to get in. It's it. And it's not only men's t-shirts, there's... There's ladies' t-shirts. I think we may have some vests, but I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, you, you know, we, we've sold a lot, so um, we're really grateful to everybody for supporting us, obviously. But they can so also get them at the venues. They well. can get them at the venues. If they come along to the gigs, they can get them at the venues, and then you save on postage then. Which is a lot easier. A lot easier. Mind you, we ain't going to save on postage if they come from Poland just to get a T-shirt. Well, well no. That, that might be a little bit more expensive way of doing it. But just might be. <laughs> But of course, you guys, EVI tonight and October, like I said, Key Marcel as well. What a fantastic set that's going to be down there. That's well, I just I can't. Night. Do you know what? It was unexpected, um, but really welcome. Um, and all props to Key for giving a local band um, a chance to get up on stage with him. Because it's nice let's be fair, he could get anybody to come and support him. Well, so um, he's, he's chosen a local band to support, and I think that's really, well, it shows the. The calibre of the guy. You know, so it's going to work out well. We're going to finish off, of course, with the single that's out there, and I'm looking forward to the new stuff that's coming out from the EP. I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be physical copies for people. Yes, I should imagine so. Yeah, and it, they'll be it'll be available in all the usual ways as well. So you know. Get hold of it then. Yeah. Would you like to introduce this one, Sarah? It is your song after all. Okay, here we go. This is Pray for the Desolate Sound Circle. Hi guys, this is Chris Appleton of Absolver, and you're listening to Angel Gareth on PRFM.